Hello, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Balaji Rajagopalan in Advanced Product Support Team with an Informatica Global Support. Today, I am going to demonstrate how to use Debug Diag to track memory leaks or usage on Windows. Agenda for this demo, a short introduction on Debug Diagnostic Tool for monitoring memory, followed by a demo on how to use Debug Diag to monitor memory usage or leaks. Now, Debug Diag comes with an option to track memory usage of running process with the help of a small DLL called Leak Track. Leak Track attaches to the process in question and monitors the memory allocations and the related call stacks and regularly dumps the user dump of the process for analysis. Since the DLL is injected into the process, it can have a slight impact on performance. Debug Diag can be downloaded from http www.microsoft.com slash en hyphen in slash download slash details dot asps question mark id is equal to 26798. Now I am going to demonstrate how to use Debug Diag to monitor memory usage of a process. Firstly, I am assuming that you have downloaded and installed the Debug Diag in your system. As seen in the screen, Debug Diagnostic Tool has three major tabs. First, the rules, where you create rules to monitor a process or an application for memory usage or crash. Then the advanced analysis tab where you can analyze the crash or the memory usage by the dump that has been produced while analyzing this process or tracing, tracking this process. In our case we will be interested in memory pressure analyzer. Thirdly, the process tab which provides gives out the detail of all the process that are running in the system. Alternatively, you can click on any process and monitor for leak or create a full user dump of the process or a mini dump or attach a debugger or you can also terminate the process. Before you start monitoring, I would want you to look at some of the configuration options that need to be set. For setting the option, go to the Tools menu and go to Option and Settings. The first tab in the Option and Settings are Folders and Search Paths. The first text shows the symbol path for the uh, program or EXE. Leave it as default. The second is similar to the first one. We are more interested in the third one where it gives the path of the folder where you want to dump the user dump by the debug diagnostic. Browse to choose a folder for your option. In my case, I'll be choosing slash dump at the D. Then the second tab preferences have many options out of which we are interested in the second one to include source and line information in the analysis report followed by the last but one which records the call stack immediately when monitoring for leaks. But please note that this is not recommended if you are monitoring longer than 15 minutes. If you have a short process that 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 is uh, completed within 15 minutes, choose this option, otherwise uncheck this option. For the sake of the demo, I have implemented a small program that leaks memory in regular interval called me underscore leak. In your case, you might want to track any memory leak on PMDTM repository service or integration service. For this demo, I will be running this program and tracks its memory usage. The process has started now. 
Now let's go to debug diagnostic tool. The first thing you need to do is add rule to track the memory of this particular process. To do that, click on the add rule and then choose the option native memory and handle leak. Next, choose the process. In our case, it is mem underscore leak dot exe. Please note that whatever process you selected, it gives the PID of the process also. Then you configure this process to generate a user dump when it memory reaches a certain amount. For us, let's choose it to be 400. And also, you can choose to dump the user dump for every 50 or 100 MB. For us, for our sake, we'll choose 50 MB. Once that is done, now you can choose how many dumps user dump you would want. In our case, let's choose 2. Also, I would want the leak track DLL to be automatically unloaded after the rule is completed. Now you have created a rule. The next thing is to name the rule. By default, we'll keep it as same, which shows the rule name with the PID of the process. And also, the dump location. If you see the dump location, I would want it to be under D colon temp. So let me choose D column temp. Now there we go. Next, the rule is created. By default, the option button for activate the rule now is enabled. Once you finish the rule, the debug diag starts monitoring the process. If you see, Memleak has already reached 400 MB of memory. And once it reaches the threshold, it will dump a user dump there. See, it has it has dumped. Let's it has dumped the uh, process image or process by uh, memory dump. Let's see that in the temp folder. Similarly, when it reaches uh, uh, 50 MB more then it will dump the second as seen and you can see the user dump count here so once that is done we have collected the required logs and you can verify that to again go into the temp folder to see that there are two PIDs that have been collected dump files that are collected in under D colon temp now, as I don't need this, I will end this process. And I will go to analyze the memory usage of mem underscore leak. To choose that, I will go to the advanced analysis tab and choose memory pressure analyzer. And then I will add the dump file that was created previously. To do that, I will go to computer D temp and choose both. You can choose multiple files here to analyze the dump. And I start analyzing it. So now the debug diag starts analyzing this and it will generate a report. Uh, where it will show how many bytes the process has taken and how many bytes any of the DLLs the associated with that particular process or kernel DLL has taken. Please send this summary analysis along with the dump files that are created to Informatica support for further debugging. If you are monitoring any of the PMDTM repository service or integration service process. That was a short demo on how to use debug diag to monitor memory usage of a process. Now, some references. If you want to uh, again uh, 
download the debug diagnostic tools you need to go to the below given link and you can also watch how to install debug diag by setting up videos on debugging common issues by Sadananda Aital on Informatica support videos. Thank you for watching the video. For any comments or feedback, please mail to supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at infasupport.